everyone, this is Pat in the Hat. I'm Pat, and today we're talking about bed files and what they're used for. So first off, what is a bed file? A bed file is a, actually a very simple file. It contains um, at least three columns, sometimes more, and it is tab delimited. What does it contain? So it contains regions or sections of the genome. Um, Usually this is used to restrict analysis to different target regions. Um, a lot of the time in bioinformatics we're not looking at the entire genome, we're just looking at pieces that we're interested in. And bed files allow us to direct our tools to those specific regions. So it's used in whole exome sequencing and panels very commonly. Um, just to show an example, let's say this is gene pet. So GenePat has four different exons, and in between, those are introns. So we're only interested in the exons, or the coding regions of this gene. We are not interested in the introns. So when we are creating our bed file, we're just looking at the positions of the exons, where the exons start and where they stop. So the format of a bed file, we have the chromosome number, we have the start position, and we have the stop position. There can be additional columns, but these are the three that always have to be there. So three columns. So here's just an example of a bed file that I, um, I had on my computer. So here you can see there are more than three columns. Um, we don't need to go into much detail on the columns after the first three, but you can see in the first three, there's the chromosome, there's the start position, and then there's the stop position. In that fourth column there, you can see there um, these positions are referring to a specific gene. So in the highlighted row, you can see the gene SAMD11. Um, and these different entries for SAMD11 are the different exomes in that gene. So, who uses bed files? Pretty much everyone. Um, as you get more into bioinformatics, you'll run into them more and more. Um, whenever you're using different tools or bioinformatic um, tool suites, um, almost always they'll have an option for a bed file or often they'll require you to use a bed file. Um, so, different suites that use bed, bed files are SAM tools. BCF tools, Picard tools, GATK, bed tools, and VCF tools. So these are just a few of some of the tools that I use. Um, but if you get into bioinformatics, it's just one of those file types that you need to know. It can help speed up your analysis because you're not looking at the entire genome, you're just looking at small sections. So overall, very important file type. Um, in future videos, I'm going to go over VCF and BAM files, other commonly used bioinformatic uh, files that you have to know. Um, so tune in for those videos. Thanks for tuning in today.